I just bought this uh, diamond grinding wheel, a four inch wheel for uh, my angle grinder to do some uh, diamond grinding of the floor to remove the epoxy covering, especially around the edges. I did the bulk of the floor using uh, a commercial diamond grinder, but to do the edges I was just using, a, using an angle grinder and this diamond wheel uh, is incredibly effective at doing two things. At, preparing the floor and also producing dust so much so that I just had to stop because everything was just literally coated so what I've done is I've made a, a shroud you can actually buy commercial versions of this but not at a minute's notice it's made from the lid of a kitchen a stainless steel kitchen um, I don't know like pasta or coffee tub and it's a type with a clear plastic top you can see there so it's easy to make holes in so I basically made a hole in the lid of it uh, the body of it's over there somewhere um, mounted it to the angle grinder and I've used a bit of um, bicycle inner tube held with some cable ties and that's forming a, a sort of uh, a skirt and then my vacuum cleaner one of the nozzles which is sort of flat it's just taped onto the the angle grinder and then goes into a slot that I cut with uh, just a little slitting wheel uh, into the side and I have to say it's incredibly effective so much so it kind of sucks itself down to the ground and it leaves the bit you've ground completely dust free and if you keep it nice and flat and you stop occasionally and readjust your your skirt it could probably do with some more cable ties then it just works brilliantly so if you need to do something like this, I highly recommend doing this sooner rather than later. I'm already a bit too late. Everything in my in my building is completely coated in dust, as am I. Um, there you go. Um, probably less than five pounds total expenditure, and it was made using hand tools and a drill. So uh, there you go.